When it comes to World War II blades, we've got things that fall under the category of very commonly discussed, such as the Fairburn socks over yonder. We've got the relatively jazzy and esoteric, such as the Smatchet, such as the Cobra, lapel knives, and so forth. However, I wanted to talk about one which is very rarely discussed, but ubiquitous, um, especially in the UK and Commonwealth countries. If you go to a military affair, if you look at old school equipment, the number one bladed article outside of things like bayonets are the clasp knives, are the jack knives. And I just wanted to take you through some of their common features because these are hugely ubiquitous knives. I'll start you with a smaller version. So an army version looks like this and they come in varying sizes, but this tends to be the most commonly recurring and it's got a couple of features. So this clasp knife here. So the blade, like so, it doesn't come to a point. It comes up here. This is still relatively sharp. It's a relatively sharp blade, like so. And it's a very sturdy construction. It doesn't feel like a limp or languid Swiss Army knife. It, as soon as it is locked out, it feels locked. It has no official locking mechanism, but it's a solid old bit of kit. Now, what you can't see is broken off here. There was a tin opener. So again, Imagine like a, a small V-section, a small fork. So all of them typically have a blade in this construction, in this style, a forked tin opener, and on the other side, a marlin spike. So this is a sharp, very, very sharp spike here. Really robust, really robust. I mean, if you look at that for the size of the finger, for the size of the knife as well, that is a solid point. And as you can see, it's really solid this does not come down unless you put effort into this yeah and I admittedly it's a small amount of rusty but i've got non-rusted versions of these two it requires concerted effort so for a folding knife it's got rigidity on there so you've got your marlin spike here you've got your single bladed edge knife here and also you've got your tin opener so this is one of the most ubiquitous knives when it comes to british forces in world War II. and you can imagine how some of the techniques might manifest with something such as this vicious marlin spike over here. You know, this, for me, is the most useful weapon on this utility tool. So again, you can see that a small, easily concealed, carried pretty much by every single person in uniform, a useful, and again, there's nothing ostentatious about it. It's ruggedized, small, slim line, but it's a really decent tool. And here's a naval version. So here is an army version. Here is the navy version. But it follows the exact same principles. Now, obviously, the navy version, it's metallic in structure, so it has fewer elements to go wrong, exposure to poor weather, solid metal construction. The blade, exactly the same archetype, exactly the same structure as the army version, just substantially larger, considering the types of things that would need to be cut with this particular weapon, or this particular tool, I should say. And the marlin spike is fucking huge. Here's your marlin spike on this weapon. So again, on this tool. So as you can see, as a very ubiquitous, very common type of blade and type of tool carried by British and Commonwealth forces, these two folding knives, jack knives, clasp knives, however you want to phrase it, are very, very common, very, very useful. As you see, the spike and the blade both offer some very interesting combative benefits. And these are things, again, you can see the hooks and loops on here. These are things that you are very likely to have remaining on your person. You, know, you have this by design, by intention, it's got a job to do. But nearly everyone at that time had something and was carrying something like this things that you could secrete and smuggle away things that you could hide you could armpit you could boot things that you can do with these that you can't possibly do with this but there are a great many fairburn sykes style techniques that you can easily pull off with world war ii british clasp knives like these so a little journey to something that you might not have seen before especially if you're us based that are one of the most common and most ubiquitous world war ii blades Stay safe.